What's up everybody? Welcome back to Dougie B Fishing. As you can tell, I am at the Pensacola Fishing Pier. You can see the big beach ball water tower behind me. And today what we're going to talk about are the three lures for any beginner. If you're starting off pier fishing or you want to start pier fishing, these are my personal opinion lures that you want to be throwing when you come pier fishing. I just tell you what works for me and hopefully it will work for you also. Let's get to it. Let's tell you all about some of these lures. Okay, this is for my people who want to catch big fish. You know, anything from striper, snook, tarpon, redfish, uh, stuff like that. You want to throw a big white paddle tail. This is a hoagie. It is a heavier bait. This is something that stripers, tarpon, all the species I mentioned before will eat this bait. White, it seems like white swim baits are the universal color that just pretty much works all the time. These uh, hoagies have a good bit of weight to them, so you get a good cast on them. And everybody wants to catch big fish. So these big lures right here, these are money. Very, very good baits. Uh, if you got toothy critters around, maybe pick your cast because they are at Gulf Breeze Bait and Tackle, $12 a piece. They are not cheap, so uh, you don't want the tails bitten off. Let's move on to lure number two. Okay, lure number two especially when they have a lot of Spanish blues, stuff like that, a gotcha plug. All it is, is it looks like a bullet case and with wires through it and then treble hooks on it. And you pop it up and down just like that. And Spanish mackerel love them, blue fish. I caught a pompano on one a few videos ago. Um, redfish will eat them, speckled trout, flounder. Uh, it's pretty much anything. Anything that will eat a artificial bait we'll eat this thing and uh it's heavy so you get a good cast on it i like throwing it on 10 pounds so i can get it out extra long but this has got to be one of the best lures for the pier so my third and final bait for any beginning pier fisherman to bring to the pier if you only had three lures it's gonna be a spoon this is a heavier spoon it's already got a swivel on it and that's one recommendation i can make for you if it doesn't come with a swivel put you a little bit of leader line and then a swivel because if not it will twist up all your line you can get wind knots if you're using braid and uh it's it's you know it's the correct way to do it is by putting a swivel on here so because as it goes through the water it twists like this and it's just going to twist up your line so you know you i'm just trying to give y'all a chance to avoid the headaches of having wind knots and having to cut your line everybody wants to have fun when they're fishing and being tangled up is not fun or having wind knots and having to cut your line and re-rig, it's not fun. We wanna, we come out here so we can get away from everything else and just have a good time. So a spoon is a very old lure. It still works as good today as it worked 20 years ago, even 50 years ago. Uh, there's multiple different ones. This is a heavier spoon. And from the pier, I'm always looking for casting distance. I always wanna be able to cast a good ways away. So I'm throwing braid, I'm not throwing mono, I'm not throwing fluorocarbon. I'm throwing braid and I attach a leader to it. I need the casting distance when I'm on the pier. So that's why I use what I use. I always look for heavier baits, three quarter ounce to an ounce, two ounces, three ounces, just depends. But um, I hope y'all got something out of this. If it's your first time to Dougie B Fishing and you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe i got over 300 videos online from marlin to bass to bluegills i pretty much have everything on my channel if you just search through it i have it on playlist where it's easy for you to navigate throughout the channel but if you do want to go follow somebody who does have a lot of knowledge pier fishing go check out saltwater mercs i will leave his link to his channel in my description and uh let's get to the fishing section for me good oh uh, yeah, yeah you can have it all right well first fish is not what we're going for let me tighten that up a little bit good <laughs> there we go come on yeah. there you go good one dang it he messed up my dang jig uh, first freaking thing look at that so y'all i'm fishing for pompano i know i know one jig down dang but switch it up Man, to be honest with y'all, I've had these type of jigs for probably about 10 years now. 
when I used to go to spring break, I bought these years ago, probably about 10 years ago. This is before any Pompano videos or anything was on YouTube. That's how long ago this was. So I never really got it figured out. And it's kind of something I want to learn because throwing lures are fun. And it, I don't know, for me it is, it just gives you a, a sense of uh, self accomplishment. You know, you felt like you tricked a fish uh, opposed to what they regularly eat, you know? But that's the reason probably why this thread came off on the other one. It's just because it's like 10 years old. All right, y'all. Well, there's fish being caught on the pier today. He's got him a nice size red fish right there. Down there on the pier. So, a few fish getting caught today. So what I'm doing is, as you can see, this is the shallower water right here. I just got tapped. And as I was sinking, I got tapped. So all I'm doing is, this is the shallow area, and this is the deep area, you could tell because this is darker than that. Overcast today, but I'm, all I'm doing is throwing out in this little gut. I'm gonna have to kind of move because I just kind of got here. I'm still trying to figure this stuff out. And um, I'm throwing in this little gut right now, seeing if anything's around. And I'm always keeping a little eye out to see if I see any of them scurrying around. So the pompano don't really want to do anything right now. So I'm gonna rig up and uh, I'm gonna rig up and I'm gonna start throwing around for these Spanish these blues or something. Look at that, y'all. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. Did I get it? He's going around here, ain't no moving, huh? You got it? Uh -oh. <laughs> you let him go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Where you want me to go? Trying to see where you at. Got me in the fucking pond. Damn. Well, I had the jack. I didn't have a way to bring him up anyway, but he ended up wrapping me around a pile. And, and uh, that was in for that one. I had to hook like the freaking one of the big ones in the school, you know, so. <laughs> but uh, got the whip on him for a little bit. It's just a jack, you know, it's a, it's a hard fighting fish, but it's not like, like if it was a tarpon, I'd be extremely angry if I lost it, but it's just a jack. It's, you know, it's fun fish, you know, I ain't never tried to eat one. I heard they're disgusting, so I don't know. But uh, they got these dolphin sharks, jacks, all kind of life around this pier right now. So I think I'm gonna tie up a gotcha and see if I can catch uh, um, some uh, mackerel or something. All right, y'all. So all of y'all that seen that I had a different shirt on is because the audio was messed up the original time I tried to do it. So I had to go back and do it again. But in the video, I hooked that jack on that white hoagie swim bait and I caught that lady fish on a gotcha. It wasn't the best of days for the pier. They didn't have a lot of Spanish around or blues. And I didn't want to fill the video with just a whole bunch of trash lady fish. Did hook onto a jack. He broke me off. It is what it is. Freaking, I hooked him. He was damn big. And then I ain't really had a way to get him up. So I wasn't that distraught over it. Other than the fact I lost $12. So 
Make sure y'all like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll check you on the next one later.